able to go fly a kite? Uh, well, today the winds will be less breezy compared to yesterday. Yesterday we dealt with wind gusts around 30 to even 35 miles per hour, so we are going to be more relaxed today. They will be veering out of the west on average around 5 to 10 miles per hour. This morning we are dry out there. You can see not a whole lot happening across the state of Maryland. We have this cold front that moved through yesterday, it brought those showers and storms over central Maryland, but it's moving offshore and we are going to dry things out, but warm things up a little bit slightly heading into the afternoon. Right now our wake up numbers are in the 50s and also in the 60s. So sort of a similar start to how it felt yesterday morning about 24 hours ago. 57 degrees downtown, 56 in Columbia and 62 degrees is the current temperature in Columbia this morning. So here's a look at today's pool cast. Today I'm not forecasting any rain, any storms. We have bright sunshine that will take us throughout your Thursday morning into the afternoon. It's going to be a great day to lay out by the pool and soak up that beautiful sunshine shine. Temperatures right around noon, 77 degrees. Then we quickly make a comeback into the mid 80s. Once again, 84 degrees by the three o'clock hour. But just keep in mind that the UV index today is going to be at a level eight. So that means that the burn time today, 20 minutes. So the average time, 15 to 25 minutes for that sunburn to set in. That's why it's so important to apply that SPF 30 sunscreen. Wear the hat and the sunglasses, especially if you're going to be outside for an extended period of time. Futurecast shows that we will stay dry throughout the morning and also into the afternoon. Not a whole lot happening across the state today. Uh, but as we head into your Friday, that's where things start to change. Another storm system moves into the region tomorrow, sparking a few rain showers as we head into around mid to late morning tomorrow, possibly dealing with some embedded rumbles of thunder as well. But as the core of this system inches closer to the metro, I wouldn't be surprised if we dealt with some thunderstorms firing up very isolated in nature into the afternoon. But some of these storms could be a little bit on the stronger side. They could contain gusty winds and they also could produce some large sized hail. So gusty winds and hail will be tomorrow's main concerns. The timeline right now, it looks to be between two to six o'clock in the evening tomorrow. So that's what we are looking at at this moment. The flood threat and the tornado threat very low on on the low end of the scale. Your seven day forecast. We have that chance for rain showers tomorrow. 83 degrees looking dry as we head into Father's Day weekend, turning quite toasty on Sunday. And then we have multiple waves of rain and storms that will take us into early next week. Back to you. All right, Stevie, thank you.